about to do this school run. And we're going to do a little video for you, aren't we, boys? Yeah. I'm going to do a video about the liquid gauge on the Honda TT. I thought it'd be just useful to show you the liquid gauge. Now, ignore the state of the car. This is the family wagon getting, boys. You know the drill. So, liquid gauge is this. Now, if you're wondering, oh, let's slide it forward. Come on, let your brother in. Got leg room. Got leg room. So, yes, you can fit kids in a TT. Anyway, liquid gauge is here. So, this is a useful piece of equipment. Now, as I say, the boys at some point on this drive to school are going to help me by filming. Yeah, and I'll because... film the back and, and my brother will film the front. Okay, well, you yes. film from the back, take the camera, point it at that. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you see it well enough? Let me just zoom it in a bit. Oh, clever. Right. So we can see all sorts of things on this. So an important one that people use it for is fault codes. So we can go into here. There's a little button here that scrolls through menus. Fault codes. We can see what the trouble codes would be. Uh, no trouble codes. Woohoo! Got a healthy car. Come back out of there. We can do things like clear the fault codes if we needed to. Throttle body reset. Things like that. Speed timing. We can do a 0 to 60. So it's telling us to wait. I'm not going to do a 0 to 60 in this uh, little village, am I? Yeah, we'll come point. out of there. We could do that later, probably. Maybe. Uh, is it going to want me to do it now? It's going to want me to do it. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. It's going to need to sense some movement, I think. And also, by the way, this car is pretty fast. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Wait for this to time out and then it's going to go, ah, you couldn't get to 60. There we go. 60 not reached. Can you see that, Theo? You see what it says? Yeah. 60 mph power not reached. Try, Try again. again. So we can go back out of there. Anyway, and we can do things like seeing the air temperature, coolant temperature, N75 duty cycle, boost pressure. In here, we can choose to have either gauge data for engine power, torque, boost pressure, command pressure, mass airflow, air intake temperature, exhaust gas temperature. There's N75. a lot. There's a lot. We can do it for data, uh, graphs or gauges. So we can also look at G-force, which this relies on the internal surface of the car and it'll, uh, uh, it'll calibrate that data. Uh, so for now, let's go into graph and let's look at boost pressure, for example. I'm learning something here. This will not replace a boost gauge. But yeah, can you pass the phone to Tyler? And Tyler can get yep. in a little bit closer on that as we're driving. Keep it straight. Yeah, so as we get bits of boost, measured in bar, come on, keep close to it. Keep as steady as possible. So, if we put our foot down a little bit, there you go, we can see boost. All right, so we're going to come out of there, see if we can come out of there, and we can go into engine power. You can see that as a graph. I'll be out on some country roads in a second where I can show you. Come on, keep close. So yeah, it is a really useful bit of kit. Um, so I'm just gonna get out to this country road in a second then we can go back over to the horsepower. Really useful bit of kit so you can keep an eye on things real time. Um, and it integrates into the dash perfectly. Um, it looks like it's part, you know, meant to be part of the equipment. So now we're at this straight bit of road. Let's have a look at here, Tyler. Was our peak then 195 horsepower? I barely got above 4,000. Let's try again. 251 horsepower. That's all right. That's a good bit of power. How did that 
feel, yeah. boys? It feel powerful? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it cool. felt like you, I could die. Go on. Say it again, Thea. It felt like I could die then. No, don't say things like that. You know I'm a good driver. Yeah, I'm I know. A, I'm an excellent don't... driver. Yeah. Anyway, so the liquid gauge, it's very useful. Um, yeah, if you want one, have a look from second hand. You can't buy them new anymore. It is available for different models of cars and things like that as well. This is just the TT one. But yeah, I hope that's been useful. See you later, guys.